once upon a time somebody asked a question to me that somebody did something very bad to that person and that person is not able to forgive him or her all right so how to forgive others how to forgive everyone and maybe how to forgive ourselves also all right so today we will discuss hopefully in short about some strategies which we could take in our lives all right so if you are new to this channel and if you have not yet subscribed then please watch my other videos and subscribe also and if you want a consultation from me regarding any area of your life then you could please go down to my website you will find it in the description section down of this video and of all other videos and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and it depends if you find him or not <laughs> i will tell you when you will and when you will not find him okay so once upon a time i asked this to one of my shiksha gurus long back that there's one person who has done something terrible <laughs> yes has it happened or does it happen to you that people often end up doing wrong things to you knowingly or unknowingly now i'm not saying that everything that happens to you like if some somebody has done something bad to you that person has done it knowingly maybe that person has done it unknowingly also but at the end of the day you have declared that something bad has happened to me right have you declared if yes then please write it in the comments and you can also write what happened to you when it happened it's up to you i am just trying to engage people in the conversation so now i had asked this question and then my shiksha guru he had answered he said that i asked him that how can we forgive others so he said if you do not forgive others how do you expect that god will forgive you should i repeat if you do not forgive others then how do you expect that god will forgive you <laughs> and it struck like a lightning it was like a thunderbolt i'm like yeah <laughs> there's this famous saying that be the person you want to marry be the person you want to marry okay so treat others the way you want to be treated so this means if you want that god forgives you for your sins for your wrong doings for your x y z <laughs> then you must also forgive others now you may think that oh i have never done anything wrong to anybody yes you may think like that yes there are many people who are so convinced that they are so perfect that they they have never done anything wrong to anybody they are not doing anything wrong nor they can ever do anything wrong yes some people think they are like perfect they are like lord vishnu <laughs> yes well if that was true then maybe we would have not taken birth in this material world because this material world is a place of misery it's dukhalaya mashashvatam napnuvanti mahatmana samsiddhim paramam gata lord krishna says in the bhagavad gita <laughs> so basically taking a birth in this material world especially in this buloka the advantage is that you can uh, perform spiritual activities to enlighten yourself but at the same time you have to understand that there are many karmic backlogs because of which we have taken birth okay so the first step is to understand that i myself have done so many wrong things just check your life from childhood is there anybody watching this video i don't know how many people will watch this video i wish all the 7 billion people watch this video at least from my channel so that they can comment i want to find if there is anybody who claims and if you claim that then please write in the comments that i have never done anything wrong to anybody never ever 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 i have done it is there anybody who can claim that i am waiting <laughs> at least i cannot claim that <laughs> so the point is now somebody may say oh maybe yeah i am so perfect that in this life i didn't do anything wrong to anybody 
intentionally or unintentionally but what about your past lives my dear sir my dear madam maybe you did something wrong otherwise you would have not taken birth in this material world just the very fact that we exist in this material world is a proof of our suffer of our sinful activities that that itself is enough we do not need anything else so when we acknowledge this fact that we have also done hopefully <laughs> or unfortunately many wrong things to ourselves and to others also yes then we will realize that everybody can do mistakes everybody can do wrong things at times so then we become humble and the second thing is at times people say that i will not forgive that person go to hell do hell with it i won't forgive that person so when because see forgiveness is one of the virtues of a brahmana yes it is mentioned in the gita samo damas tapas saucham shantir arjava me vacha gyanam vigyanam astigyam brahma karma sabhavajam forgiveness forgiveness and tolerance these are these are the most essential qualities now who is a brahmin brahmin is not who is born in a sharma or a bharadwaj or a goswami family yes a brahmin is one who is brahma janiti ti brahmin one who is focusing on god that person is a brahmin very simple he can be a hindu or christian a muslim a boy or girl whoever that person is doesn't matter पूजन पाजन यजन याजन पठन पाठन दिस सिक्स ड्यूटीज आई विल मेक अ वीडियो ऑन दिस समर डे बट अंडरस्टैंड दिस दैट टू फॉरगिव समबडी यू नीड द ट्रेट्स ऑफ अ ब्राह्मण अदरवाइज यू कैन नॉट फॉरगिव बिकॉज फॉरगिवनेस मीन्स टू सी एंड फॉरगिवनेस डज नॉट मीन दैट यू जस्ट से दैट ओके आई हैव फॉरगिव एन यू बाय बाय नो इट डजेंट मीन दैट forgiveness means at a higher level of course there, there could be different levels of forgiveness one level of forgiveness could be that i do not forgive the person but i don't take revenge also that's like bare minimum otherwise you don't call it forgiveness another level of forgiveness is that you not only forgive that person but you also forget that he did something bad to you i mean not externally but uh you you don't let that wrong thing which he did uh hinder your relationship in the future which means you you still maintain your friendship or the relationship with that person and the next level of forgiveness could be that you forgive the person you you don't take revenge you accept the person as it is and you go one step ahead and you help that person and higher than that is you enlighten him spiritually that is like very high <laughs> that's like too high <laughs> yes uh, who is the perfect example jesus christ he is the best example for this when these people they were you know putting knots here in his hand in his legs in all parts of his body the this this much long then what did he pray he prayed that oh father forgive them because they don't know what they are doing <laughs> yes that that's like the that's like the pinnacle of forgiveness that you are praying to god that please forgive this person because he doesn't know what he is doing and even in the vedic tradition there are many 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 examples one of the prime examples is there in the shrimad bhagavatam of ambarish maharaj what ambarish maharaj did ambarish maharaj was a grihastha and he was a great greatly elevated spiritual personality very highly elevated so one day what happened durvasa muni came and durvas muni is a guest and durvas muni came at a very difficult time difficult time means 
अम्बरीश महाराज वॉज सपोज टू ब्रेक द फास्ट फॉर अ यज्ञ विच ही वॉज डूइंग व्रत एंड इफ ही डिड नॉट ब्रेक द फास्ट देन ऑल द बेनिफिट्स ऑफ द यज्ञ वुड बी नालीफाइड बट नाउ द प्रॉब्लम वॉज बिफोर द गेस्ट विच इज दुर्वास मुनि बिफोर ही ईट्स और ड्रिंक्स यू आर नॉट सपोज टू ईट फूड द होस्ट सो देन द ब्राह्मण सजेस्टेड दैट यू कैन टेक सम चरनामृत सो इफ यू टेक चरनामृत विच इज द the liquid which is given after the body of lord vishnu yes is washed that's the abhishek so once uh, if you take charnamrit it is said in the scriptures that it's like saying simultaneously you have eaten and you have not eaten also something like that something similar so by that you will maintain the principle of atithi devo bhava that treating guests like god that you feed him or her first and then you eat yourself and you will also break the fast and then you will get the benefits of the yagya also but and then amrish maharaj did that but durvas muni was extremely angry he said how dare you drink or eat before feeding me <laughs> and then durvas muni he by his mystic powers he created a demon and that demon charged towards ambarish maharaj and as soon as that demon was the, uh, that demon started charging towards ambarish maharaj lord vishnu sent his sudarshan chakra from nowhere <laughs> and that sudarshan chakra came and ripped off this demon completely and then the sudarshan chakra started running behind durvas muni <laughs> Imagine the scene you know the Sudarshan Chakra is running and Durvas Muni is like oh my god i am finished today i am dead and Durvas Muni starts running Durvas Muni goes to Indra the king of the heavens please save me Indra says no you are the wrong place please go out of here then he goes to Satyaloka where lord brahma resides and then lord brahma says i can't do anything nobody can stop the Sudarshan Chakra it's impossible then he goes to lord shiva and the lord shiva says bye bye <laughs> and then he goes to vaikuntha to meet lord vishnu there they say that he was given special entrance and when he goes there even lord vishnu says i can't do anything i am helpless you have offended ambarish maharaj who is one of my great devotees is one of the paramhamsas so you must pay the price so there's only one way by which you can be saved your life will be spared if you go and fall at the feet of ambarish maharaj only then you might live <laughs> not that you will you may live and that's what ambarish uh, durvas muni does he goes and runs and he falls at the feet of ambarish maharaj oh my god please forgive me and then what happens the sudarshan chakra is so angry the sudarshan chakra still you know is almost about to kill durvas muni but ambarish maharaj what he does is because he is a great soul again one he is a great soul so he has this quality of forgiveness at the highest level so he prayed to the sudarshan chakra that my dear sudarshan please do not kill this great soul he is saying that durvas muni is a great soul can you believe it <laughs> and he was not just being a fake person he was genuine and even then the sudarshan chakra was like not stopping no no i will rip this person apart how dare he do this with you but then amrish maharaj was praying intensely please forgive him please 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 don't kill him don't kill him please and it is said he prayed so intensely that the sudarshan chakra's power was the sudarshan chakra became useless can you imagine lord vishnu sudarshan chakra which is the i mean that's the source of all the power and all the weapons that was that was rendered useless the sudarshan chakra returned it could not do anything because his prayers were so intense my god so that's like the highest level of forgiveness no you not only forgive you pray for that person also you pray for that person's well being my god 
that's too much <laughs> okay and at one level why we cannot forgive people is because we do not believe in the law of karma yes we are atheists you may think or i may think oh we are worshiping shiva krishna vishnu ram you know allah jehovah christ no because the law of karma states the amount of happiness and suffering is fixed the the external entities are simply acting as agents of your own karma so that means at a deeper level when you understand what law of karma is you will understand nobody gives you suffering they only become mediators or as this in a postman they just deliver what is already there in your account if that person does not do somebody else will do it but somebody will do it not because that person is doing but because that is there in your karma so that pain which you will get that you cannot avoid just by blaming it on that person you know he or she did that to me no it doesn't work so once we understand this principle half of the problem is solved because then you know it is just a matter of time or the person if that person wouldn't do then somebody else would have done it so then your focus will shift from that person to your inner inner side you will realize that the outer world can only torment me to the extent my karma is allowing that beyond that nobody can harm you because they say there is only one person in the entire universe who can harm you and who is that person yourself <laughs> okay so another reason why we can't forgive is because we think we are so great that we, we we will never commit any mistakes yes we think like that deep down inside now somebody may commit some blunder in some area but we may commit blunder in some other area so when we acknowledge our own position the blunders that we have done the sufferings that we have caused to others then we will know that yes nobody is perfect everybody can do wrong things and you will always realize if somebody has done something wrong with you if you keep that in your head you know you are just ruminating it 24 hours you're thinking about it how can i take revenge it's like saying you know you have a hot coal in your hand and it's like you are only burning nobody else burns no body burns only you are burning that's all you are getting damaged every second every minute and you are getting destroyed now that person may be destroyed one day but you are getting destroyed every second when you are planning to take revenge okay so we are not so great that we never commit mistakes yes and if we never forgive others then it could happen that one day people who we love when we do something wrong to them unknowingly then they will say that i will not forgive you and from tomorrow i do not know who you are i disown you from my life all right <laughs> not very good but that could happen someday i wish and i pray and i hope that it never happens with anybody all right so that is what i wanted to say that we have to understand that people will only behave and punish us according to our own karma it is not they who are punishing us it is our own misdeeds we have done something to somebody that is why that has happened okay so when you understand this then you become humble and a humble person will always forgive others it is said a great soul forgives 
बिफोर इवन इफ यू ऑफेंड सपोज आई नो दैट ही इज कमिंग टू इंसल्ट मी सपोज सो बिफोर ही इंसल्ट आई फॉर गिव हिम and how to forgive others you have to be in satva guna you have, you cannot be in rajoguna and tamoguna rajoguna means yes 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 i will teach him a lesson i will teach her a lesson and tamoguna means i will kill that person <laughs> and satva guna means you you understand where to draw the line all right there you go that is my outlook on forgiveness and when you read the scriptures you understand how great person is just like i told you about ambrish maharaj and i told you about jesus christ how did you know about ambrish maharaj just because it is there in the scriptures otherwise you would have never known that somebody can also pray for somebody who tried to kill him my god this is like extreme because they say one of the traits of a great soul is his ajata shatru ajata shatru ajata shatru means one who has no enemies and we all know from the mahabharat who is that character yes whose name was ajata shatru one of his names and he is none other than the great dharmaraj yudhishthir he was known as ajata shatru because if you read the mahabharat you will come to know he did rajasuya yagya rajasuya yagya means it's like you are the undisputed emperor of the entire world and whoever doesn't accept that has to fight with you without uh, getting subordination from all the kings you cannot do rajasuya yagya and when the time of the rajasuya yagya was there near then yudhishthira maharaj had sent arjun bhim nakul and sadev to all the four directions and they they fought actually with many kings but most of the kings big big kings great kings whenever they heard that somebody is about to do rajasuya yagya they would take out their swords and they would like use you want that we are subordinate under a king i will kill you i will rip your skull apart the next time you say that we will never accept anybody's we will never stay under anybody it's impossible and then they would come to know oh it is yudhishthir maharaj who is going to do rajasuya yagya and when they would hear the name of yudhishthir maharaj they would put their swords down and they would say we have no problem because we know that you are the best you have no you have no poison inside it will be for our and everybody's good if we accept your authority and that is how he did the rajasuya yagya not by transforming the entire india into a battlefield before the rajasuya yagya of course there were some demon and demons and demon like humans and kings who never accepted jarasand was one of them yes and then bhima went and ripped him apart but most of the kings almost all of them unanimously yes he is the main man we have no problem so of course we cannot be like yudhishthir maharaj that's like too much <laughs> we cannot be uh, we may not be able to be so forgiving so great so dar so magnanimous that's the word that when people hear our name they are like oh my god no problem take it <laughs> but at least in the shimad bhagavatam they say na maha jano ye na gata sapanta that trying to follow in the footsteps of the great personalities not trying to imitate them all right so we can read the scriptures and we can uh, know about these great personalities and once we know about them then we will also get a desire that okay somebody did something wrong to us let us forgive that person okay there you go if you are new to the channel then please like comment share and subscribe <laughs> or you could go and forgive somebody yes if you wish and then somebody may end up forgiving you that could happen 
and apart from that if you want a consultation then please go down to my website below okay you will find it in my description section and yes god is there with you and if you forgive others then you will definitely find him okay until next time with another video wish you all the best bye bye see you